In this video, we'll demonstrate the process of wiring a second inverter to the SolarEdge backup interface. This video was recorded in a closed training environment. Refer to the manual and adhere to your company's safety practices while in the field. Before we begin, ensure the system is completely de-energized. First, turn off the inverter on-off P switch. Next, turn off the DC safety switch. Then turn off the AC power followed by moving the main circuit breaker on the backup interface to the off position. With the system de-energized, remove the outer and inner covers of the backup interface. With the covers removed, loosen the existing breaker screws and install the additional breaker into the backup interface. Then tighten the four screws that secure the breakers to the bus bar. After the screws have been tightened, install conductors for ground, neutral, line 1, and line 2 into the breaker and backup interface. Now move over to the Energy Hub connection unit and install the wires for ground, neutral, line 1 and line 2 in the grounding bus bar and AC terminal blocks. Next, install communication wires for both leader and follower inverters to the terminal blocks labeled second inverter. We recommend using the same color combination that you are using for the existing backup interface communication wires. You'll connect four wires to the second terminal block and three wires to the third terminal block. Once the wires are connected to the leader and follower inverter, connect to the leader inverter using SolarEd Setup and run follower detection. Once the detection process is complete, enable backup on the leader inverter and finally set your desired battery preferences. 